Aloha team, welcome to your taco workout. Go ahead and get started with your standing warm up, and then we're gonna split this workout into a standing and floor section. 12 reps each, three to four rounds. All right, our first exercise, you're gonna need a set of dumbbells. We're gonna go into a back lunge with a front raise. So you're gonna alternate. Whatever side you're stepping back with, you're gonna raise that same side and alternate. 12 reps. Two. going to be a standing oblique crunch. It's going to be on one leg, lengthen out, crunch it in, and go. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and twelve. Other side, and crunch. One, two, three. You should feel it in your obliques. So pull that elbow in, pull that knee in. Eight, nine, 10, 11, and 12. Good, grab your set of dumbbells again. We're gonna be doing an in-out bicep curl. So we're gonna go out to the sides, right in front. That's one, two, three, very good, four, Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, two more, eleven, and twelve. Very good. I'm gonna work some balance now. We're gonna do a single leg windmill. So I'm gonna be standing on my left leg. My left arm's gonna go up, my right leg's gonna go out. We're gonna fold into a taco. Two, three, modify by tapping down at the floor every time the leg goes down. Or if you wanna challenge your balance more, hover. So the foot does not touch the floor when it goes down. 10, 11, and 12. Awesome, other side, lengthen out. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and twelve. Last standing move is going to be with our dumbbells again. We're going to do a bent over back fly. So you're going to hinge up the hips, knees are bent, back is flat, arms are going to go out. Shoulder height. Two, squeeze those shoulder blades. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Keep that neck and back aligned. Ten, eleven, and twelve. Good work, team. Now we're going to head down to the floor. All right, our next move, we're going to go into a high plank. We're going to do our tricep up down. High plank, we're gonna go right, left, right, left, left, right, left, right. You definitely can do this down on your knees. You wanna make sure everything is tight, so pull that belly button into the spine. Neck and back is aligned. So you're gonna alternate, going on your right, leading, then leading with your left. So you go down to the elbows. All right, let's begin. Right, left, right, left, that's one. Left, right, left, right. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. You can do it on your knees. and 12. Good work team. So now we're going to flip 
up onto our back. You're gonna grab your pillow or your ball. Put it in between your knees. We're gonna lay flat on our back. Press up into a glute bridge. And we're gonna squeeze that ball. Release. Squeeze. Release. Hold for two to three seconds. Three. Four. Five. Really keep those hips pressed up to the ceiling. Squeeze through the glutes. Feel those hamstrings working. Inner thighs working. Nine. Ten. Eleven. And twelve. A dumbbell chest fly. So you're gonna grab your set of weights again, lay flat, start off with the weights right above the chest, not above the head, palms facing each other. We're gonna open up wide and squeeze back together. Just go as low as you can. If you need, have a slight bend in the arms. This is four. super clam so stack your elbow underneath your shoulder stack the knees and you're gonna press up into a side plank while opening up the knees and lower back down press through and lower three four five six seven lift as high up off the ground as you can and open up nine 11 and 12. Good. Now we gotta do the other side. Stack everything and lift. Open and close. Two, three. Modify by staying on the ground and just doing the clam.